Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be adding powers of i. Not just any ordinary power of i because we did add powers of i before, we added the even power, the odd powers, multiples of i, you name it. We've done quite a few different problems and then I just thought about could this problem be solved and turns out it can be and it's a really cool sum. You know why? Because if you look at the exponents, do you see a pattern? It might be hard to see with a few terms. So it's always important and definitely much better and more rigorous to define this sequence or sum in a better manner. Like we, may t we need to make sure it's well defined, but I'll tell you what it is, don't worry about it. You probably guessed, but again, uh, a guess is just, you know, a guess, right? It could be something else unless it's, you know, clearly specified. Anyways, we have this sum i to the second, i to the third, i to the fifth. By the way, there were more powers that before i squared, but I skipped them because they don't look that interesting. I mean, if you want to add them, you can. And if you added those powers, they would be the first powers. Anyways. Now, how do we obtain the powers? They are not all even, they're not all odd. Are they multiples of something? So in other words, what's the pattern, right? When you have data, you're always looking for a pattern. Machine learning looks for a pattern. Deep learning looks for a pattern. Everybody looks for patterns. So what's the pattern here? So here's how it goes. You take the first two exponents, two and three, and add them up. What is two plus three? The answer is five. I'm pretty sure you answered it, right? And then take the second and the third exponent, right? You got the third one by adding the first two. Now add the three and the five, and you get eight. And then you add the five and the eight, you get 13. Now 13 is not visible, but trust me, it will be the next power. Make sense? Great. But what about 987? That's such a large number, right? But if you keep doing this, You'll get there. You know how? I'll show you. Now, first of all, what does this mean? Oh, by the way, I asked this question to Wolfram Alpha, and Wolfram Alpha could not find the answer. Maybe my prompt wasn't that good, and I'm hoping that you can come up with something better, and you don't even know what my prompt is, but hopefully someone can come up with something that will give us a result. If you do, please share the link down below. Okay? Great. Now, if you continue this pattern a little bit more, like notice that we're adding two and three and we're getting five, and then we're taking these two numbers and adding them next, and then we're adding these two numbers. You get the idea? So next I'm gonna be looking at eight and 13, right? So eight plus 13 is gonna be 21, and then 13 plus 21 is gonna be 34, and 21 plus 34 is just gonna be 55. Hmm, such a nice number. 34 plus 55 is 89. Does that ring a bell? I hope it does. And you just continue in this manner. But obviously, this is going to take a lot of work, right? So how do we get there? So you can continue to add, but and also let me tell you something. The numbers grow pretty quickly. So soon enough, you're going to reach that number. For example, if you add these two numbers, you're going to get 144, which is a perfect square, by the way. And that's just perfect, right? And then 89 and 144, <laughs> it's like a lot of addition, right? It's probably going to be 233. And then I think if I didn't make any mistakes, then this should be 377. And then we're going to add these two numbers, 377. And that should be, let's see, 33 and 77 should give us 110. 500 plus 110 should be 610. Great. And then these two should give us the desired number which is 987 awesome yes we got there so looks like I didn't make a mistake okay now what does that mean it means that by following the pattern I'm able to reach 987 this still doesn't prove that this is a good pattern but I'm telling you you know this is the pattern we are looking for okay so what is going on this is the famous or should I say infamous Fibonacci sequence so how do you form the terms you start with one one 
and then add them up like consecutively three five eight so on and so forth but I skipped it first too so I start with the third one but here's the thing we're gonna be adding powers of i and what is important when it comes to adding powers of i i to the fourth power because it's one awesome so we're gonna try to get i to the fourth or any multiple of four will do like i to the 4k where k is an integer so how can I do that instead of focusing on the numbers themselves as powers we can actually look at them mod 4 so mod 4 is the key to solving this problem get the idea because of i to the fourth being one great so let's start with this We've got a couple terms we've written everything actually so you can go ahead and copy those if you want but I want to tell you something okay what was the next thing 144 yeah we'll continue that that way now this number mod 4 is 2 and notice that to get the next one we just add the two consecutive numbers right so this will be a 3 right and then this will be a 1 because 2 plus 3 is 5 but it's 1 mod 4 makes sense always think in mod 4 now to get the next one we're gonna add these two numbers so this will be a 4 or a 0 0 is better because it's zero, right? I don't know. I couldn't find a good reason. It's already good. Now we're going to add one and zero now. That's going to give us one. And then zero plus one is going to give us one again. Don't be misled. We didn't get a pattern yet. One plus one is two. One plus two is three. Two plus three is five, which is going to give us one again. Uh oh. After the one, I should be getting four, which is zero. Beautiful. Now notice that you got the two, three, one, zero. 2, 3, 1, 0. See that? If you want to cancel out the first two terms, that's perfectly fine. No big deal. But here's your pattern. And that's when it repeats. Let's go ahead and kind of uh, put the block that repeats in a box. So we know how many terms we need. Yay! Every six terms will have repetition. What, what is the reason behind that? Good question. You know, uh, if you know anything about Fibonacci sequence, please let us know in the comment section down below. This is going to be an interesting discussion. But my point is to just quickly show you what the uh, last term is going to be. Now, what does this mean? This means that I can find the sum of the first six and then it's just going to repeat with powers, of course. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six. Beautiful. I got a beautiful pattern because all that I all I have is just going to be well wait a minute this is not right because I'm only looking at the sums. Okay, never mind. I'm going to have to uh, write this whole thing one more time because uh that's not going to be that small. Okay, anyways, let's write the sequence. Let's try to write all the numbers. Let's try to squeeze in everything here and then I'm going to try to uh, find the powers. 144 is going to be followed by 233 and then 377 and then 610 and finally 987 good uh, there aren't that many terms now notice that the first six right are going to give me something nice starting with the five wait a minute i should have i shouldn't have ignored these because these are part of my expression okay so here's what i need to do then i kind of need to choose a new one which is this group right here which means it's this group right here okay so that's gonna be my new group never mind forget about the other ones let's delete this blue here that blue here okay that's kind of misleading so that's what I need to look at the first six terms right then here's what I have one two three four five six this is a block one two three four five six this is a block then I have two terms that remain but don't worry we now have two three one zero one one and these are powers don't forget them these are all i to the power thing let's just find one of these and of course this is going to be two and three right so here's what you have i to the second i to the third i i to the zero plus i plus i you're going to have this twice because of this and then plus i squared plus i cubed that's it let's go ahead and evaluate this and that'll be done okay i squared is negative one this is negative i plus one plus i 1 plus i plus i multiply that by 2 this is negative 1 
minus 1 and minus i. Take a look. Negative 1 is going to cancel out. i is going to cancel out. We're going to get 1 plus i, double it, 2 plus 2i, and then subtract 1 minus i from it. And you're going to end up with 1 plus i as your sum. If I didn't make any mistakes, and this should normally bring us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.